वेजिटेबल ऑयल्स और इम्पॉर्टेंट इंग्रीडियंट्स इन इन दिस होल कुकिंग एंड ऑल्सो एन इम्पॉर्टेंट सोर्स ऑफ डायट्री एनर्जी ए ग्राम ऑफ फैट वुड गिव अबाउट नाइन किलो कैलोरीज विज अ वी जस्ट फोर कैलोरी फ्राम कार्बोहाइड्रेट एंड प्रोटीन ऑफ दीज थ्री एनर्जी गिविंग न्यूट्रिय ए गुड क्वालिटी फैट इट इज बेस्ड ऑन द काइंड ऑफ फैटी एसिड्स दे कंटेन लाइक द ओलिक एसिड ओमेगा थ्री फैटी एसिड पूफा यू वुड ऑलवेज सी दिस पूफा बींग मैंशन ऑन दी ऑन द ऑयल पैक्स सो दीज आर ऑल फैटी एसिड्स लाइक द प्रोटीन्स आर मेड अप ऑफ एमिनो एसिड फैट्स आर मेड अप ऑफ फैटी एसिड these are individual the individual units links of a long chain they are called fatty acids so some of the fatty acids our body can't make when we get from the from the oil sources from the dietary sources uh, those fats which our body can't make and those fats are called essential fatty acids very important to source them from outside the uh, body from the dietary sources most of the other fats the body can convert interconvert them Uh, so that's the beauty of the, uh, the of the biology so a good quality fat is are those which are rich in uh, in omega 3 fatty acids and essential fatty acids uh, fat is when it is solid at room temperature oil is when it is liquid at room temperature generally they are called lipids so how do you know whether whether fat is good or bad uh, uh, one is the fatty acid other thing is how they are processed for example today this this whole food story we talk about farm to table story every link is important they say chain is as strong as its weak links if you process oil using hexane which is a petroleum product and boil at very high temperature to almost 260 degrees of temperature of course everything gets boiled off the very structure of the oil also changes slightly normally people think that trans fatty acid present only in hydrogenated fat but even the common oils when they are boiled at a very high temperature it does lead to small production of trans fatty acids and then the petroleum solvent that is used to remove the oil has to be boiled off but sometimes that also stays so that is why the government of india or also in the european union everywhere they say that the hexane that is the petroleum in vegetable oil should be less than 30 ppm so and all the goodness is boiled off for example many of these oils the, the tropical oils with the soybean sunflower groundnut also contain very high amount of vitamin e but when you boil at high temperature vitamin e comes out and that is sold by the oil industry to pharmaceutical companies and all the antioxidants um, unfortunately we call them as impurities to be removed and, and sold to uh, either to the feed industry or to the pharmaceutical industry but as a matter of fact if the oil can retain all the antioxidants all the other phytochemicals for example rice bran oil has got about 4 5% of horizon oil is an antioxidant every oil has its own antioxidant profile every oil is packed in nature in such a way the higher the long chain fatty acid higher the vitamin e associated with it so that's the way the nature packs it so that it should not be spoiled or turn rancid quickly but what we do in the industry is that you know industry mega scale industry they just boil off everything and then add synthetic antioxidant to have a long shelf life but that's not the way to have a long shelf life with chemical additives a good vegetable oil should be processed with low temperature that is what is known as cold pressed oil low temperature with just mechanical way of removing the oil ancient type of uh, uh, technology modern modernized to a large extent today ancient way of extracting oil was through gana uh, kachi gani kind of thing where the bull would take the turn and then physically crush and remove the oil but that has been improved a lot uh, these days without increasing the temperature you can remove the oil without removing the antioxidants and the phytochemicals they all can be retained and the oil can be really then healthy